Hi guys, welcome back to the most underrated channel on YouTube. And here's what I have done with the Tapis 7 Fan Edition, this one here, right here in front of me. I have used this device for the previous three days in isolation. Why is this important? Well, if I don't, then I keep comparing this to other devices. And this will definitely blur some lines. If you get what I'm saying, I can also probably say this approach worked really well. Despite many rumors, we do have a USB-C charger included with the cable in the package it is a 15 watt but at least it comes with one charging your tap 7 fan edition from zero to hero and i mean 100 percent was almost three hours 50 percent charging time was 120 so there's that okay look i am going to have a different approach for this video here today i put myself in a consumer place in order to be as accurate as possible with my findings. When it comes to the display, I know I have given it a pretty tough time in my previous video. And the reason being is because I compared it with a Tab S7. I compared it simply with other devices. And I'm going to park the pricing right now because I had a similar dilemma with the Tab S7 and the Tab S7 Plus when I compared both displays. Now, having used the Fan Edition exclusively, it became all relative. Because when I worked on it and I looked at it every single day, there was absolutely nothing wrong with the display. It becomes an issue when considering pricing and putting in next to another device. And the example I can give you, which is slightly far-fetched here, but I recently bought an OLED TV. I used to have all the fancy LED TVs before. Now I have an OLED TV. I can clearly see the difference but only by experiencing both TVs side by side. And it is fair to say now I'm pretty spoiled with the OLED TV. To conclude the display section, it does have 60 Hertz. The panel will give you 60 Hertz and you can have full HD playback on Netflix. It doesn't have HDR for YouTube in the advanced settings. You can go up as high as 2160p. And unless, again, you compare this with another device, I think it's actually not that bad. If you are interested in gaming, for example, it does come with, or it provides you with 30 FPS in Fortnite, and that's as high as it goes there. I have a similar approach for taking notes with the S Pen that is included. And yes, you heard correct, the S Pen is included in the box. And of course, when you take notes, you may not see or feel a huge difference unless you are like me and film in slow motion. Now, having said that, many people are using it to draw and lead a certain amount of latency, but also accuracy. So if that is your thing and you want to have a more professional device, then maybe you're better off with a Tab 7 or Tab 7 Plus. However, for a college student or university student, that's actually fine. And the bigger canvas may actually serve you better or serve you well. And you do have pen to text available. You can also hook up a display via the USB-C port in order to do your presentations. I do believe this is Samsung's play here, the Tab 7 Fan Edition, kind of a student life device, which is a nice segue to my next section, which is productivity. Ah yeah, so it has wireless decks, it has normal decks and wireless decks. It also has the second screen option that so many people are looking for. I have used decks extensively and although it is not the fastest processor, as we know, I opened Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Samsung Notes all at the same time and basically worked on all four applications going back and forth between them. So there was the occasional second delay, but all in all, it was fine. And even plugged in with a monitor that was all fine and all depends on your workload. Again, four applications, index mode worked fine with some sort of delay, but nothing really major here. There's no fingerprint sensor, but it does have 5G, so you can go out and about. Um, I don't know if that's any use for you, but you'll be the judge of that. In case you wonder what the camera looks like and what the microphone sounds like, well, here we go. And let me introduce you to my lovely dog, DJ. Hello, DJ. She is confused. This one is tough. As a matter of fact, there are more and more Samsung tablets coming out with a feature segmentation and that get it's basically getting harder to really judge these devices. It's almost like saying, well, you can't have the latest display technology, but I give you good speakers. So that's basically your trade-off for today. And we are saying, no, we want it all, right? We want it all. We want a big canvas. We want good speakers. We want the latest display technology because Samsung does simply the best displays 
in the world. Well, Samsung is saying maybe not today, but hang in there, maybe another day in a future device. Look, as with many things in life, it all depends on the marketplace value for that device, right? How much are you willing to pay for this device? Is it priced correctly? And if you are okay with the price and features that have been given to you, then don't hold back. And if not, wait for a discount or simply go for a different device Samsung has to offer. And this, my friends, this is probably, or maybe, what is Samsung actually aiming at here? Because if you don't go for the Samsung Tab S7 Fan Edition, you will go for another device if you are into the Samsung ecosystem. Guys, you know how this works. I'm super interested in your opinion. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about the Tapis 7 Fan Edition? Until next time, I miss you. Peace out.